Hello everyone, and welcome back to another exciting episode of my Pokemon Platinum Let's Play. It is I, Magnificent Entertainer Bulba Garden's Multimedia Executive, and in the last episode we went through all of Victory Road and ended up here at the upper part of the Pokemon League. Right through that door over there is the Elite Four and the final battles of the game. But... Uh, one minor thing between episodes that I did was I put Dr. Doof back in the PC and got Splur back. I will actually switch Punguin and Porygon. I meant to do that while I was still off screen, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, if you actually try to talk to this guy... Uh-oh! Hold it! Don't go off without me! You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here, too. Let's see who's more worthy of making the challenge with a battle. Yep, yep, yep. Just when you think you're finally getting somewhere. Nope, this guy comes back yet again. Oh, persistent little bugger, isn't he? Anyway, he starts out with a level 48 Star Raptor with the moves Close Combat, Aerial Ace, Steel Wing, and U-Turn, and that Intimidate ability. Uh, close Combat will hurt if he gets that off on Porygon, but I'm hoping that Porygon is faster. Yes, it is. And... Star Raptor doesn't have a great special defense, and my special attack wasn't lowered, so... There you go. That's perfect. No more double team for you. Alright, what do you got next? Well, we got Porygon growing to level 53, which is wonderful. Ah, of course, you're sending out Heracross. Heracross is level 48, with the moves Aerial Ace, Close Combat, Night Slash, and Rock Slide, and the Ability Swarm. Uh... <laughs> oh boy, uh, remember when this thing used to have Guts? I do. I think I remember telling you last time, hey, remember that it has Guts, because... Next time it's going to have Swarm, and technically this was true at the Spear Pillar when we were battling the Galactic Commanders, uh, but, well, I didn't point it out then because I wasn't going over uh, Zexy's Pokémon at that point in time. Uh, also, Guts was objectively the better ability because, well, you don't have any Bug-type moves, you dingus! <laughs> you get no benefit from that at all. Anyway, uh, I'm calling that he's going to do a close combat. So I'm going to switch over to Grim. I don't have to, I didn't have to switch over. I could have tried to do, um, you know, I could have tried to do a try attack, but uh, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll, we will ominous win that Heracross, and yeah, yeah, Night Slash all the way, it's not going to do much of anything. And then again, Ominous Wind isn't exactly a powerful attack. So, we'll Ominous Wind, you'll Rock Slide for some reason, maybe you're thinking you can get the Flinch. Uh, I'm hoping I can get the all stats up, that'd be wonderful. No. Okay. Rock slide again, because of course. Ominous wind, fine. And this won't KO, but I can do something pretty fancy here. All he's got are offensive moves, so... Sucker Punch. I know that's going to be resisted, but... Bye-bye, Heracross. Alright, who's coming out now? Snorlax, huh? Snorlax is level 49. It's got the moves Body Slam, Crunch, Earthquake, and Rest, and the ability Immunity. Uh, I'd like to think that Zexy actually had the time when trying to find his Munchlax. Zexy actually had the time to catch and train up a new Heracross in the time that it took him to find that Snorlax. Anyway, um... 
It's gonna be Crunch or Earthquake. I'm gonna call either I mean, either one of them doesn't matter, because Heracross here resists both of them, so... We'll do that. Yeah, Earthquake. I guess that makes slightly more sense, because it's a higher power move. And if both do neutral damage... Alright, buddy. We'll close combat you. And do what your Heracross failed to do. Actually accomplish something important. And I bet you I know who's coming out next after this. <laughs> Bye, Snorlax. And this should probably heal me to full health, because Snorlax has a lot of HP. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. That was a good switch in. And, yep, Rapidash comes next. Level 47 with the moves Fire Blast, Sunny Day, Bounce, and Will-O-Wisp. And here's another funny berry change for you. He's got the, that Rapidash has the runaway ability now. Um, it had Flash Fire before. Flash Fire was clearly the better move. Uh, you're faster than me and my defenses are lowered. So I'm going to switch. Uh, let's go over to Splurb over here calling for a Fire Blast. I don't resist Fire Blast, but... Oh! Right. Bounce. Bounce actually makes a certain degree of sense. Uh, I don't think I'm faster than you, because you are a Rapidash. So, no, I was faster. Oh, jeez. Uh, that was my mistake. I'm faster than you, though, so this Earthquake will hit. Well, you learn something new every day. Splurb is very fast for a ground type. Anyway, your options are limited at this point, but I know who you've got coming out next. Come on. That's right. Floatzel, level 47, with the moves Aqua Jet, Crunch, Ice Fang, and Brick Break, and the ability Swift Swim. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious... Well... Actually, you're going to go for the Ice Fang. There's no reason you're not going to go for the Ice Fang. Uh, I wanted to switch to Masqueroes, but actually, you know what I'm going to do? Because I've still got that Yachi Berry. You're going to be... Oh, I was going to say you're going to be faster than me because Floatzel is fast, but apparently I am underestimating Splurb's speed left and right today. Um, fine, I will still switch to Masqueroes. This may be a silly idea, but... I'm a silly person, and at least Masqueros isn't quad weak to it. Uh, uh, critical hit. Okay, but I've poisoned you. Well, you've done something somewhat effectively. Uh, you actually managed to KO one of my Pokemon, although it made you get burned in the process. Uh, fine. We'll put Juniper out front, because you've got pretty much nothing you can do to Juniper. Brick Break. And Ice Fang does make the most sense. And if the Brick Break doesn't take you out, the Poison should. Nah, the Brick Break took you out. Wonderful. All right, and we've finally gotten here. His last Pokemon is the Big Bad level 51 Torterra, holding a Citrus Berry. You fully believe in this one, even though it's five on one at this point. Uh, level 51 with the moves Leaf Storm, Earthquake, Crunch, and Synthesis, and the ability Overgrow. Um, if that Rapidash had gotten up a Sunny Day, Synthesis would be a little bit more of a threat. Uh, as it stands, Heracross actually resists literally everything that this thing's got. Um, might as well hack at it with an Aerial Ace or two. So yeah, uh, Leaf Storm also. No Wood Hammer. I mean, at least you actually have Earthquake on your, your Torterra now. 
Uh, I seem to recall that that was something you didn't have before. Uh, actually, why am I doing Aerial Ace? I feel like Close Combat's is still a better choice. Yeah, we'll Close Combat and this should finish things up, I think, if Aerial Ace did that much damage. No! Oh boy. Uh, well, I'm not worried. He's probably gonna use Synthesis, but... Yep. That'll recover half HP? Yeah, half HP. If there was Sunny Day up, he'd recover three quarters HP. I did more than that with Close Combat, so I'll just take you out and it's not gonna be an issue. I will admit, you actually made me break a sweat this time. Zaxi, that's that's better than you've done in a while. Gain back some of that HP. And there we go. We've defeated him yet again. What just went down? My team still needs raising? And we gain... Oh, right. I, I didn't put Punguin in there. Every Pokemon except for Punguin. Oops. Uh, I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you. That's right. Darn it. You watch, though. I do have a poke edge. I've had a poke edge since episode 3. I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League, because I'm going to become the champion, the toughest trainer. And you better not lose to anyone before me. Well, I'm going to heal up. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, so I wanted to get that done relatively quickly. Um, good battle with the rival helps me train my team a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to, though, move Pokemon. Uh, we'll take out Tropius over here. And we'll put Splurb back. I know Splurb barely got to see any time in this episode. Splurb will be back in the party at the end, but for what I'm doing next, uh, I don't really need Splurb. First of all, one thing that I'm going to do out here uh, is I'm going to backtrack on a little bit of that progress that I made. I thought there was an item around here, but I didn't remember where. If we do this, you see that the uh, Poketch is acting up a little bit, which means that there's a specific type of item hanging around. And indeed, right there is the Sky Plate. Hooray, hurrah. Uh, anyway, with our fancy Tropius over here, we're going to fly all the way over to Canalave City. And here in Canalave City, uh, I believe it's this house. I hope I'm not forgetting. Yes, it is this house. And I want to make a Pokemon forget a move. Uh, Punguin over here. Waterfall, you know, I've said it before, Waterfall is not a bad move. Uh, but, you know, and I may end up changing this back in the future. But I don't want to do that for the Pokemon League. I kind of feel like, well, I mean, let's, let's actually take a look at Punguin's attack stat over here. You can see 103, it's it's not bad, right? It, its special attack is 149, its speed is 100. You know, it's it's got good stats overall, so Waterfall isn't necessarily a bad move, but it's also not the fastest, right? I've got plenty, well, okay, not Tropius, but I've got plenty of Pokemon who are faster than it, and, you know, again, I'm, I'm thinking at least for the Pokemon League, uh, one Pokemon in particular that I'm thinking of, having a priority move... Oops, Having a priority move is probably going to be a good idea. Uh, so I am going to, at least for now, switch back with Aqua Jet. Uh, and to do that, we're going to fly over to Pastoria City. Oh, actually, silly me. Uh, I also wanted to make Heracross forget a move while I was in Candelave City. Ugh. 
I am just so forgetful today. Uh, yeah, I want Heracross to forget Strength, because Strength is just a horrible move for Heracross to have, and as I recall it, the only reason Heracross has that move is because I was a doofus and didn't have Dr. Doof with me when I needed Dr. Doof. Um, or I was just stubborn. Uh, but yeah, let's... Let's, uh, let's find Heracross over here, or Juniper, and we're going to forget Strength. Strength is not a good move. Good. Alright, now we can go back to Pastoria City. and do what I was going to be doing earlier. And of course, uh, this one I definitely don't remember where it is. I think it's this house. Uh, no. All these houses look identical. Uh, was it this one? Yay! It was this house. Okay, heart scale. Let's see what my Pokémon can learn. Porygon over here needs a move tune-up. Uh, you can see, nasty plot. Um, I was kind of debating between this and Charge Beam. Uh, Charge Beam accuracy, you know, it's it's a low power move, 70% chance of... 70% um, chance of raising your special attack. You know, it's it would be potentially good to knock off a non-ground type Pokemon that's low on health, but and a potential chance to raise my special attack while I'm at it, but I think Nasty Plot's definitely more consistent for that. Uh, let's see. Uh, what can Grim learn? Anything helpful? No. If it was the other type of curse, I'd be all over that, but no. Uh, no. Nothing good. Let's see. Uh, Punguin definitely needs tutoring. And we're going to teach... Aqua Jet. And there was nothing else worth remembering on that list. Uh, Juniper, anything good for you? Night Slash seems useful, but I actually had a couple of other moves in mind for Juniper. Uh, actually... Yeah. And, let's see... I know that Gliscor can learn the Elemental Fangs and Poison Jab, but I'm very content with its move set right now. Uh... Weather Ball. Oh yeah, I think I forgot to mention, when I evolved Roselia into Rose Raid, because it's a stone evolution, the uh, move pool becomes significantly more shallow. The only semi-interesting move here is Weather Ball, but since I don't actually use any weather moves on my team, that's not particularly helpful. Alright, now for some hold item switches and some TMs. So Heracross... I will give you an item. I'm going to give you the wide lens. Uh, I do know, you know, the the uh, the shell bell that I've had on Heracross has been working out relatively well, but I mean, the wide lens works better with the strategy that I will be doing. Uh, next up, we're going to use a couple of TMs. First off, I believe I mentioned in the last episode that I am looking to teach Stone Edge to Heracross. It is 80% accurate. That will probably come back to bite me multiple times. But, you know, I think with that accuracy 
buff, uh, accuracy buff with the wide lens, you know, maybe it won't be too bad. Um, I do not have a Swords Dance TM. I thought I had a Swords Dance TM, but in any case, I'm okay leaving Aerial Ace on Heracross, so that works out okay. So that's it for now. Uh, I think that our move sets are looking a little bit more solid. Uh, but let's actually travel to Sunny Shore City. And, you know, I, I realize I probably don't have to do this because, you know, my team is plenty powerful already. But I want to train my whole team up to level 55. Um, you know, I, I wanted to battle my rival first just to see, you know, exactly where I stacked up, just to see how well I could do. Um, you know, things like that. And, you know, I think that it's a fairly good matchup, at least for now. Uh, I'd probably do relatively well against the Elite Four and the Champion. But, you know, I've got the time. I've got the patience, so I'm going to head out to Route 222. I'm going to do a little training. Finally actually show off what that VS Seeker does, because I don't think I actually have yet. Well, it's not nighttime, so the policeman won't challenge me, but get a few trainers on screen at the same time. And where is my VS Seeker? Oh, right up at the top over here. You can see any trainer that wants to re-challenge you will have a pair of exclamation points pop up over their head, and they'll start spinning around. Uh, I believe I've still got Porygon in front. Yes. All right, let's challenge this guy. Oh, we'll ride upon the sea in a boat just you and me. That's the way of the sailor, way of the sailor, you sing too. I just did, and I probably broke all of your ears. Anyway, some of these trainers actually will have more powerful Pokémon when you rematch them. Uh, this guy, unfortunately, still just has a level 45 Mantyke, which will go down to this Thunderbolt. But, oh well. Oh, I should also probably take a look at how many PP-ups that I have and things of that nature. Um, I will probably be using those between episodes, just to kind of sort of get an idea of what... Uh, you know, I, I, I know I've got all the Lepa Berries, but at the same time, you know, if I don't have to use them, I don't have to use them. Uh, you know, powerful moves like Close Combat and Stone Edge all have 5 PP. Uh, there is a Pokémon that I will be facing, at least one Pokémon, that has pressure. Uh, although I don't actually think I'd have... In fact, I almost certainly would not have Heracross against that particular Pokémon, but you never know what kind of shenanigans might come up. Anyway, the VS Seeker requires... I believe it's 100, maybe 150 steps to recharge... Um, if you're on your bike, should be no trouble at all. Um, I'm gonna head over... Uh, you've got... Yeah, gonna head over here and try the VS Seeker again. I think that guy's got a Luxray, so... Yeah, that guy's got a Luxray, so I'll switch Splurb to the front. Splurp, I might actually give that uh, Shell Bell to, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm afraid I'm in the doldrums again. You shall keep me company again. Yeah, his, um, his text changed a little since the last time we battled him. And his Luxray is still level 45, though. Uh, this probably will get slightly tedious for all of you. Um, <laughs> but I did... I, you know, I have the last bit of training before I get to the Elite Four, before I start battling, uh, you know, the, the, the last five battles of the game. 
So, I didn't want to cut it out or do it off screen. Um, you know, just because that just seems like a bad thing to do. Anyway, Mascaros, you only had a little bit of time in this episode so far, and you got clobbered, so... Uh, yes, we have. This guy's got Magikarp, so not worth my time. Ugh. Well, I'll Shadow Ball it. Bleh. See, that's one potential disadvantage of this route, is all the fishermen. Uh, I thought about maybe going to Route 223 instead. Ah, Gyarados, now nah, here. Here is a challenge. I don't remember if this guy actually had a Gyarados before, or if he actually evolved one of his Magikarp. But Gyarados good, uh, gives a decent amount of experience. Uh, so that's good. Hey, I poisoned it. That's great. Hydro Pump. Uh, okay. Shouldn't do much. Very good. And we'll Giga Drain just to gain back some of that HP. That should be okay. Yeah, very good. Gain a lot of experience for that. And we defeated Alec. You know, I should probably focus on one Pokémon at a time for this. So, we'll put Heracross in the front, because Heracross needs the most experience to grow levels. Uh, for those of you who are curious, by the way, first of all, let me actually see how many rare candies I actually have. Uh, 17. For those of you who are curious as to why I'm not using my rare candies... Okay, I've got 9 PP ups, that's also good to know. Uh, I'm not using my rare candies because I am planning on doing the post-game. So, the rare candies will give me more bang for my buck... Uh, after I've completed the game, and after I'm ready to challenge the Elite Four again. So, you know, that's why I'm not going to use those now. Um, I could probably, and I should probably, just register my... Uh, what's it called? I should just register the, uh, the VS Seeker, but... Oh well. Uh, I don't think this guy, yeah, ever gets any stronger, but at least it's not a Magikarp. You could also battle some of the wild Pokémon. They're actually fairly high level in this area. Yeah, the reason that I want to go to level 55 in particular is because I believe I mentioned in the last episode, Heracross learns a very good move at level 55, and I do want it to have that move before I go into the Elite Four, Again, there's there's no real reason for it. I'd probably do just fine against them as is. But, again, I, I have minor OCD. Uh, also, the added challenge, although it's not much of a challenge, the added challenge of being in um, set mode instead of shift mode does make it slightly more difficult to raise your Pokémon while you're battling the Elite Four, just because kind of whoever you... Oh, well, that was bad. Uh, whoever you send out first is probably going to be the one that you keep out for a while, although I actually switched like every turn while I was against Sexy, but you actually have to think about switching a lot more just because... Um, well, because it will eat up your turn, as opposed to, you know, when you're when you're in shift mode, and as soon as you KO a Pokémon, you can say, okay, you know, I will switch. Uh, I don't have that luxury, and, you know, again, that's on purpose to try to give the game a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't look like I can get her and these guys on the screen at the same time. Um... So I'll just use the VS Seeker here. I know some of these fishermen have Magikarp, but oh well. I think some of them would have... Uh, I think some of them would have Gyarados at this point. Probably. Uh, or you just end up having another Magikarp. 
Uh, it's almost a pity that I don't have that shell bell because I could take this thing out and gain back some of my HP that I lost, but oh well. Take care of that. Gain like no experience. Finion, I'm also going to gain like no experience for this, but oh well, at least it's better than a magic harp. Uh, please tell me you have a Gyarados as your third Pokemon. Please. At least that'll get Juniper close to level 54. <laughs> no, oh, right, you've got a Feebass. Well, I've got a bajillion of those, so I don't need to see your Feebass. I think, unfortunately, this also gives a very low experience yield, so boo. Although that is more than Magikarp. Anyway, I'm going to do what I said and actually register the v the VS Seeker. Uh, watch how I forget that I did that in the next episode and get confused why my bike's not activating when I hit select. Uh, because I'm a goof, that's why. Anyway, let me actually head over here. See if you want to battle. Uh, can I use my VS Seeker? I can. Okay, other trainers don't appear to be ready for battle. Got to, I've still got to recharge it, though. Which is a shame. But yeah, um, this is probably going to be the rest of the episode, so... <laughs> Just stop watching. You don't have to watch anymore. I'm, you know, I'm just going to be going around battling random stuff. I don't know why I chose this particular route as the route to grind on. Um, I guess it's because it's got trainers on it that aren't uh, specifically just water type trainers. And it is one of the higher level trainer routes. I, I swear I make sense sometimes. Um, but yeah, just gonna keep on leveling up, keep on battling the wild Pokemon, keep on battling the trainers until my Pokemon are all level 55. Oh, you're faster than me. That's a fast hair. Uh, fast hair. A fast Electabuzz. Probably got a good speed IV on you, or at least a speed boosting nature. Or both. Good for you. I still managed to cause you to faint. Anyway, getting close to level 54. Let me actually see if I can't battle a trainer now. Trainer battles will be better. You know, they'll give you better yield experience, even factoring in the fact that some of them have Magikarp. You! I have not battled you yet again. Uh, I will, actually. I believe last time I battled you with Spirit Tomb, this time I'll battle you with Heracross. Uh, Heracross is a relatively uncommon Pokémon, because of the only way to find it is with Honey. So I'm really helping you out. Anyway, Stone Edge over here. Definitely overkill, but probably the best move that I had for that Wing Gull. Uh, it actually hit, which is, <laughs> which is great. Um... Juniper grows to level 54 over here. Getting even stronger. Gastrodon! Oh, lovely. This is going to be a good Pokemon. Well, is a good Pokemon. Uh, take you on with a close combat. Very good. That critical hit may or may not have been necessary, but it's a Gastrodon, so it's pretty defensive. I wouldn't doubt if it was necessary. And Machoke over here. Close combat, still the best move against this thing because factoring in same type attack bonus, it'll do more than Aerial Ace. Heck, I think Brick Break might do more than Aerial Ace, but I could be wrong on that one. Very good, we defeated Lex Luthor. And yes, you are. Although next time I may not be battling you. Well, Okay, I've got more Pokemon, so... And, and Juniper is relatively close to battling 
or to, to getting to level 55, so... Although this isn't going to help all that much. Just Brick Break. No need to use up that last close combat. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I guess one other thing that I should mention, I guess I, I can mention while I'm recording this. Uh, I know it's already been a few weeks at this point, but it is the first episode that I'm recording since comments once again are available on our videos. Um, that was a decision that was made, uh, you know, uh, that myself and the webmaster Archaic came to um, last night. Uh, you know, just because it looks like the majority of other channels that have similar content to ours have comments enabled, so, you know, it's just gonna be better for us in general. Uh, and this lady really does not want to battle, or I think she's a beauty, but it, she, she, either way, she doesn't want to battle, which is a shame, because if memory serves, she's got a law punny, which would be easy pickings for Heracross. Oh well, doesn't matter. I'll battle anyone else that wants to challenge me. Hey, this guy again. Very good. You do have... I think you've got Intimidate on that Luxray. Uh, don't actually remember, but... Whatever. It's still a powerful Pokémon. Uh, and it'll give me a good amount of experience. Take that out, use my last close combat. I could use a Lepaberry to regain experience. I'm pretty close to hitting the level that I want to get to, though, so I don't think it's necessary. I should be able to take care of everything else with Stone Edges, Brick Breaks, and Aerial Aces. Yes, that has liberated you. Plus, I'm getting a good amount of money while doing this, even though I don't have... And I will have Punguin in the front at some point, so... You know, that's gonna be fine. Do, do, do. I don't think I actually need to cycle around this much, but... Whatever. I'll do what I feel like doing. Alright. Uh, well, you know what? I want to help you achieve your goal, so we'll switch Mascaros to the front. I'm doing this just for you, buddy. You better be thankful. Although I admit this isn't one of the least common Pokémon that I have, but you've already battled Grim, you've already battled Juniper. So, take it or, <laughs> take it or leave it. Um, yeah, Mascaros over here will Sludge Bomb. Yeah, I, it, I, I will feel bad if I've got to duplicate Pokemon on you, but I'm not here to help you achieve your dream. I'm here to help me level up for the Pokemon League, because I feel like it. Anyway, this Gastrodon won't give us any worries at all. Indeed not. Anyway, this is also probably going to be the longest episode that we have for a while. Um, what I think I'm going to do for the Elite Four um, is I'm probably actually going to put each Elite Four as their own separate battle video. I know I probably could fit, you know, at least two of them, possibly even all four of them into one video because, you know, the length of some of the videos that I've been making has certainly been long enough, but I kind of, I want to put a spotlight on each of the Elite Four. Also, I want to have at least an episode, you know, at least one episode with the pun off of all of their names, kind of like I managed to get with the gym leaders. It's actually kind of funny at the time that I'm recording this, not even my battle, or my battle against Volkner hasn't even been posted yet. Uh, well... Not, not even this upcoming week, it'll be ne next week. Um, oh well, that's fine by me. I like to have a bunch of episodes recorded in advance, just in case shenanigans happens again. I do not want to go on hiatus indefinitely again, because uh, that was no fun the first time, and I really wish I did not have to take that hiatus. Ah, Floatzel. 
to smack you up with a brick break. Uh, you'll hit me with a crunch beforehand. It's funny. Um, well, it's actually not funny. Actually, it kind of is funny that Splurb was faster than higher level Float Soul. Well, well, then higher level than this Float Soul uh, in Rapid Ash. That I, I did not see that one coming earlier. Uh, but oh well, I guess that just proves that Zexy really doesn't train his Pokemon well, now does he? But yeah, just kind of sitting here, KO and Pokemon. No big deal. Just trying to get stronger. Oh! I got paralyzed. Good. That'll keep my Guts ability going. Or that'll get my Guts ability going. I think I will actually use a Lemonade on Heracross. Especially it's paralyzed. I don't want it to get KO'd just before getting to level 55. Uh, but, let's actually see if either of these trainers wants to battle. And I keep forgetting I've got the thing enabled. Nope, the other trainers don't want to battle. Oh well. Just zoom a little bit further. And if it was nighttime, I think the cop would actually be a viable trainer to battle, but it's not. So, oh well. Uh, I can't get all four of them on screen at once, so we'll just activate it here. Are you the one with the... No, okay. You're not the one with the Phoebus. I think that's the one next to you. Do you have a Gyarados? You do have a Gyarados. Oh boy. Uh, and I will be slower than you because I'm paralyzed. On the other hand, if this Stone Edge hits, you're doomed. Uh, I do say if, uh, because it is colloquial, colloquially known as Stone Mint. Oh, well that could also happen. <laughs> I love how I deliberately didn't heal Heracross's paralysis just so that I could get the Guts boost and it's coming back to bite me. Ugh, oh well. This'll take care of you, no problem. Yeah, bye Heracross, er, bye Gyarados. You've got another one. Uh, probably gonna use Aqua Tail. Not sticking around for that. So, Porygon will be the one to take this one. Hydro Pump, and you missed. Should be faster than that, Gyarados. Zap you down with a Thunderbolt. This'll also hurt. And Heracross will be very close to gaining a level, if not actually gain the level from this. Yeah, okay, I wish it did, but oh well. And I'm not gonna switch out for that Remoraid. It's just... As much, that, that probably would put Heracross over the edge, but it's just not worth it to split hairs that narrowly. Plus, Porygon is going to need the experience anyway. You don't know how, but you lost. Uh, my strategy somehow managed to work. Yeah, 346 experience. So, you know, one more wild battle should take care of that. Shadot? Interesting. Uh, also something that I'm just gonna not run away from, but switch over to another Pokemon for, because Shadot probably still has Chatter. Or Uproar, fine. It's neither, not gonna do anything to Punguin either way. Uh, Surf. That Shadot's all washed up now. And I hope that's enough to put Heracross over the edge. No. <laughs> Just a little short. Oh well. It's a DS game, so you go one step and you hit a wild encounter. 
Alright, this Electabuzz is probably going to be faster than me, but I should still be able to get a move in, hopefully. It would be hilarious. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say it would be hilarious if Heracross got hey, KO'd right here and now, because Heracross is the main reason that I'm training my team to level 55. Anyway, that does it with a little bit of change. Juniper grows to level 55, and wants to learn the move Mega Horn. Oh boy, I finally get a chance to use my bug stab, uh, my, my bug type stab. Uh, gonna get rid of Brick Break for that. Uh, and I should have actually gone over that while we were in the screen, but Mega Horn over here. You can see 10 PP, 120 power, 85% accurate bug type move. Uh, no secondary effect, really doesn't need one. Alright, let's switch Mascaros to the front. Most of the people that we're going to be battling have, gra uh, have electric or um, water types, so take care of those relatively easily. Uh, let's actually get three people on screen, or more on screen at the same time. Here we go. You! You would like to battle. Good. Another quick battle. Yes, indeed. Now, as I recall it, you've still got a... Oh! I think you're stronger now. With four magic heart. Or maybe you're someone completely different from what I was thinking of. Uh, doesn't matter. Magikarp is Magikarp worthless, not even worth grinding off of, though if you do have four Magikarp, I may gain a level, because Mascaros is just so close to a level anyway. Ah, but you do have a Gyarados, so at least that's something. Mascaros should easily gain a level here. And Sludge Bomb is the best move to use. You probably have Ice Fang, which is wonderful. Um, no, Hydro Pump. Okay. Uh, I was going to say Ice Fang, or Ice Fang from a water type already did you in once this episode, but... Phew! Anyway, Giga Drain this to take care of that last bit of HP to gain back some of my HP. Oh! I did not actually expect to get back to full health with that. That's your big root at work. Mascaro's level 53. Remoraid, okay. We'll Shadow Ball that. Because I don't have any HP that I need to gain back. Bye bye, Remoraid. And I'm guessing your last Pokemon's a Magikarp. Oh. It's a Finneon. Almost as worthless. <laughs> okay, okay, I joke, but... It is what it is. There we go. That should take care of it. We defeated Fisherman George, and you're done in. Yes. Let's see. I should have come here at night. Oh well. That was a silly thing that I did. Or didn't do. Nope. Oh, was that just saying that it didn't... that the trainers wouldn't want to battle, or was that saying that I didn't have enough charge yet? I don't know. Ah, they both want to battle. Alright, we'll go with you first. Because I could always use a little bit more money. You seem to get in the doldrums fairly often, buddy. Are you okay? <laughs> uh, Luxray. Yeah, I don't think any of the trainers here actually do get stronger, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. You know, they're all level 40s or so anyway, so they're already relatively competently leveled. And again, you know, this Luxray provides a good amount of experience. Don't send out Heracross, don't send out Heracross. Well, that works. <laughs> You're going to be paying me a lot more money now. Thanks, bud. Oh, full restore. 
curse you. <laughs> I forgot rich people had that. Oh well. I will surf and launder your money, I suppose. Yeah. I'm I'll I'll, I'll go with that. <laughs> okay, good. And yes, yes. What a, what price? Well, fourteen thousand four hundred poke dollars this time. That was on you. That was entirely on you because I wasn't gonna put Penguin out there this time. Uh, lovely Magikarp. Anyway, at this point, what I'm probably going to do is we'll raise Mascaros up to level 55. I see that the episode's getting pretty damn long. So, you know, just gonna probably raise Mascaros up to level 55 and then do the rest off-screen. I don't want to bore you all too much. Um, yeah, just, I guess, the movesets that I currently have on my Pokémon are pretty much going to be the final movesets that I keep on them for the Elite Four, at least as of right now. Um, you know, I, I considered some options with Grim, but I think Sucker Punch... You know, uh, Sucker Punch may be useful enough that I can see uses for it. Um, you know, especially since Grim is not exactly a fast Pokémon. So any chance that I've got to, um, any chance that I've got to kind of level the playing field and, and get a faster speed is certainly going to be appreciated. Uh, actually... No. Boo. That's horrible. Uh, I don't actually know if there was anybody that was technically considered to be on camera for that, actually. Um, oh well. Let's go here again. Now, yeah, this does sometimes happen. Is the other trainer if you battle them? Um, if you battle them enough times, nobody's gonna want to battle you anymore. And 50 steps. Oh well, and my bicycle, I can make that happen in no time, especially if I keep bumping into walls and doing stupid things like I always do. Uh, or bumping into people like I always do. I'm well known for that, aren't I? Anyway. You guys want to battle yet? Well, the kid does. So... We'll battle you, and it's going to be a Remoraid again, which is fine. The kid doesn't get any stronger. No Octillery for you. But oh well. I think we can live with that. We can live with that anyway. Your Remoraid can't. But such is life. So yeah, um, don't gain any money, like, almost no money for battling that tuber, but I'm not doing this just for the money. Uh, but yeah, I think in between episodes, I will, uh, raise the rest of my team up to level 55, um, and I will triple check to make sure that I've got enough items to move forward, you know, increase my hyper potions, uh, revives, things like that. Um, just probably because I've got, well, okay, certainly because I've got OCD, but <laughs> that's, well, I think most of you should know that by now. Anyway, um, it, it, it is also partially because of the set battle style. I expect there to be more casualties on my team as I'm trying to battle the Elite Four because I may choose to sacrifice a team member so that I can get a free switch. Maybe, maybe not. 
we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, anything can happen in the Elite Four. And, you know, against one of the Champions Pokémon in particular, if I can get a free Switch, that's probably just going to be ideal. Um, just because that particular Pokémon can be extremely annoying. Although, I do have two Pokémon with moves that are... with at least one move that's going to be good against it. Uh, unfortunately, one of them is actually weak to... Uh, one of them is actually weak to a move that this Pokémon has, but oh well. Uh, you've got a Magikarp, a Feebas, and what, like a Finneon? So, barely worth battling you, but oh well. Just grind up this last level, be done. Well, okay. Grind up to the end of this level. And I think you've I, I think you've all seen more than enough of me just grinding out levels and things like that. But you know, like I said, I didn't want this to be too short of an episode, especially since I think four short episodes are coming up. Well, potentially five. Well, okay, the fifth episode's probably going to have the end credits in it, and that's not going to be short. Um, but they're going to basically just be single battle episodes, so... You know, I kind of wanted this to be slightly longer, uh, maybe a little bit more entertaining. I mean, the main focus of it was the rival battle right there at the beginning, but, uh... Well... That is what it is. Anyway, Mascaro's here grows to level 54. And how much experience do you need to grow to level 55? That's way too much. Yeah, so I guess as it stands, uh, I will off-screen get all of my Pokémon to level 55. And uh, what I will also do, then, is I will make sure that I've got all the hold items that I want set. I will make sure that I have... Uh, what's it called? I will make sure that I've acquired enough healing items of the various types before engaging in battle with the Elite Four. And that's my plan moving forward. Uh, so I guess... I will see you all next time, and next time, I will be starting my Elite Four Challenge. Isn't that exciting? Oh boy, something tells me the Elite Four are going to bug me quite a bit. <laughs>